Hey, it's your boy, Sorry, it's Dragon, once again, back to back. This time, we're going to talk things that are not WWE. Well, yeah, other wrestlings, including Impact, mainly. So we'll start with that, mm -hmm. and then we'll mention anything else. Overall, though, as usual, this is your Heaven's Monsters podcast. With me always is T-Money, King of Puppies. Woo! There we go. You want me to do a better woo? I can do a better woo. Woo! There you go. I am at work, so I'm trying to be uh, So, that said, let's go ahead and just kick us off with Impact Wrestling. And I gotta say, because I just text the boys uh, since I watched it uh, today on my phone, this thing right here. And, shout out before I uh, go any further, a, a link to the description will be down below for our boys Xavier Hill, I'm about to say Xavier Woods, Xavier Hill's YouTube page, as well as Mike Henry's. Shout out to y'all. Leave a comment down below and tell us what you think, what we mentioned, or what we didn't. I think we'll cover everything, but you never know. First thing I want to mention is... Freaking Moose's shoes. What are those? They were sparkling like hell, man. Seriously, what were those? He, he was last time he was wearing gold plated clothing. Now he's wearing black that glitters, and the most glittery thing with the shoes. Hey, you know he he's been you know those things probably cost a lot of money when he got them. What the fuck, man? I have a right mind to tell him, dude. Are you stepping out of the closet or something? Mm -hmm. You got something you want to tell the world? You hide a man? Maybe that's why he's hanging out with Austin Aries. He likes what he sees. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to dress up. Am I crossing the line? <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. He's dressing hey, like wrestling name puns. <laughs> he's dressing like a, like he's like a member of Evo, like kind of like evolution or fortune. Yeah, you wish. And it, I didn't hear it last time, but now I did for sure. Instead of moose, everybody's saying douche, douche. douche. Cam even said it, man. Every, I agree with everybody. You should name your name from moose to douche. And Falaba, as a result of that argument, got a world title picture against Austin Aries. And everybody was patted on his back, including the unknown figures, apparently. That same people that run the show from behind the scenes and gave your girl the smoke show. Mm -hmm. All we see is one hand of them doing this. Who the fuck are they? Who the fuck are they? Who are y'all? Show your faces. We can't see you, literally. But otherwise, Fala Ba, I had to watch that match from beginning to end because Fala Ba really gave Austin Aries a run for his money. Mm -hmm. But after that power bomb from the top rope mm -hmm. and that freaking submission move of his, yeah. he couldn't get out and he tapped out. Mm -hmm. Good on you, Fala. You pushed hard. Don't let anybody else tell you otherwise. Yeah. Otherwise, that saying, it was kind of, uh, how the hell, I, I have to watch this. I have to look to, go to my site because Impact Wrestling's Why Night Only was dummy, yeah, exclusive? Mm -hmm. What the hell? How come he gets his own One Night Stand special? What the fuck? Uh, he probably asked for it, so... He felt he wasn't doing nothing. It's funny how he's getting so damn popular with his dummy. Yeah. And everybody's saying, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not talking to you dummies. I'm talking to myself. Like, what remember, the fuck? <laughs> remember they gave him his own talk show? That's probably what it was. I have to see. And see who showed up at one night only. That's something, too. Because we saw freaking two our man. Mm -hmm. We got, we saw freaking. Oh, yeah. What yeah. was his name? <laughs> God, I already forgot his name. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the guy who hangs out with Carmella, I forgot. <laughs> oh, he's smart. Uh, <laughs> he's so he's forgetful. He's, he's smart. He's smart. Carmella? The Carmella's no, not Carmella. The, the, the guy who hangs out, the chinless guy. Oh, James Ellsworth. <laughs> <laughs> James Worthless. <laughs> I already forgot his name. God damn. Well, maybe Hornswoggle showed up. Maybe that would have been fun. Him versus Hornswoggle. Again. <laughs> Wait, they never fought. I'm thinking Spud. Ooh. Sp James 
worthless versus swaggle. Mm-hmm. Color me interested. Oh, mm-hmm. I like. I want everyone to know about this. When this is gonna. What's that? Because you don't know. Y'all don't know this, but guess what? Who's interested in uh, Killer Cross? Oh. It is New Japan Wrestling is interested in Killer Cross, and so is WWE. Oh shit. This just got real. <laughs> but he's and, also in Lucha Underground. Yeah, but he yeah. has not made his wrestling debut yeah. for the Rabbit Tribe. They're, they're interesting because they're impressed with his uh, his physique. His tattoos might be a different story, though. So it's surprising no, to see they, WWE get them. Well, they're not tattoos. They nothing to do with it. It's just like they like, they like how he's built like a muscle dude. I've seen some of his tattoos, man. They don't look child friendly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, Skull's like on uh, I'm just taking it. And Randy Orton. Yeah. Is awesome. But he's got some other stuff that's like, okay, what the fuck is this? <laughs> but that considered, Moose, Austin Aries, and Killer Cross are a faction, but they don't have no name uh-huh. yet. Yeah. We'll have to see. They're like the bodyguards of Austin Aries because he's the world champion. His muscle. Yeah, same bodyguards is muscle. Yeah, I'm saying both. That's the same thing. Man. And with that, we got a six-man tag team match coming at Bound for Glory. Mm-hmm. Actually, two. But let me mention the one I want to talk about, and that's the Lucha Brothers, Pentagon Junior Zero Mue. No, wait, Miedo. Me, me, zero Miedo. I'm trying to Miedo. Fear. Zero Fear. And his brother, Phoenix. And being called out by OVE and Sam Ka- Sammy Kama. Yeah, yeah, he's part OVE, so just call him this. So yeah. Being called out OVE. Brian Cage, since he did help them out, he's being called out by that man, and he took down K- Congo Kong. Mm-hmm. Even the, uh, the announcer saying, Damn near 400 pounds! I'm like... What? What? Yeah. Did he just say this? Did he just say to say that? Did he? Did... <laughs> that man is heavy as fuck. Mm-hmm. Gave Big da- uh, Daddy V a run for the money. Mm-hmm. Rip. Rest God bless his soul. Rest his soul. Rest his soul. Rest his soul. King Mabel. <laughs> Pajama Daddy. <laughs> no, no, the the. Pajama played the love machine. <laughs> the world's largest love machine. <laughs> that should be big, <laughs> But do so you know what Vince stands for? What it means? What? Well, he says to Trish Stratus, it means without organs. I was thinking something more perverted. No, that's what it means. Vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell that white. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. That, no, I don't think a mother would name her child that, though. <laughs> I don't talk about Anyway, though. Lack said, it's going to be a six-man tag between the Lucha Brothers and Cage versus OVE. And it's going to be crazy. Have you seen that guy? What the hell? The guy who still got his hair in OVE is just running around, uh, just talking back there. And copying him. Maybe, like, he's, maybe he's told. Maybe, uh, he's, he's trying to mimic him or something. That's what he's doing. Like, oh, dude, man, I want get your own material. I want y'all to know who who they, whose impact is interested in. What two let two legends mm-hmm. from the Attitude Era, Chris Jericho and the former WWE Women's Champion Jazz. Jazz and Impact Wrestling. She wants to Knock go. Out. She wants to go. Yeah, she can cuss her mouth off. Go for it, Jazz. Baddest bitches here. Speaking of bitches, oh, well, excuse my language. I don't call people bitches, but hey, man. Go ahead and say what you want. You're free. Nah, 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 I don't want to call people that. Anyway, speaking of brats, because that's what uh, <laughs> that's what she was called. The Diamond Third Tessa, Generation. Tessa Blanchard. Tessa, thank you. Tessa Blanchard is calling out. Allie again saying that she's not she whatever she's uh, she doesn't believe what she's smoking she don't believe what she's saying 
She still thinks she's after the title, even though she's uh, Su Young doesn't have the title. So we'll have to see where that goes. But see, did you watch Ali's interview? She says she wants that belt. Yeah, but that's at a later time. Right now, her issue is with Su Young. Yeah, it's so true. she's going to go after her. She's going to put that. She's going uh, to put that on hold to till she finish taking care of Su Young. Mm. My question is, where's Taya Valkyrie? Johnny Mundo, Johnny, uh, John Morrison, aka Johnny Impact's wife. Where is she at? I just want. I want to know where is Rosemary. Probably in uh, Women of Honor. No, it's Ring probably, of Honor. Well, maybe she's or somewhere at, else. Or probably somewhere taking days off, trying to train more. Can't wait to see her come back with a brand new look, most likely. Or well, let's hope the we brand do. new let's face hope, paint. Yeah, that's how we do see her face paint. I'm getting tired of that one with the uh, with the, where you got half of. Oh it. yeah, it's just half. Yeah, I'm getting tired. I want to see her cover up her face paint, her whole face. Yeah, the, uh, her art on her face is generally good. And the, and put the contact back on her eyes. I want to see the yellow eyes. But otherwise considered, also we have the freaking. Tag team division of LAX versus DOG, and it is getting hot. It's supposed to be freaking ceasefire until October 14th. Right, so. I'm getting tired of King's thing in my nerves. And that's next month! Mm-hmm. That's next month! What's four weeks mm-hmm. prior? So we gotta wait for Bound for Glory for this to settle, and you saw how that fight ended. The, the OGs came out, and they're just poking the damn bear, mentioning that poor little boy who's still alive, and he he, he wish he wasn't. Like you son of a bitch! I wouldn't, but I man, shit, shit. Fuck you, King. Fuck you. Fuck you, punk ass, mother. Ugh, that's got it. So, let's cover it. Oh, I want to World off. title picture, oh, knockouts, tag team. There's no middle class, that's right. They took away the... Middle uh, weight, I mean middle weight. Yeah. Ooh, no middle X division. Weight. But... X division like... X yeah. X they t- they, yeah, the... the, the global Brian global. Cage is, is the freaking X, X division. Yeah. That's just like the cruise weight, but I don't understand why they give it a... Uh, I do, because that match is crazy. No, I'm talking about, I just don't understand why they gave him the X Division title, because he's not an X Division wrestler. He's a, like, Yeah, he's not the first one either. Freaking Samoa Joe and, yeah, and Abyss. They, they got no, it. No, 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 no. Samoa, no. no Abyss was the uh, X Division champion. Not, that, that's Team Legends champion, bro. No, no, he was the X Division. I watched. You know, he didn't see, you weren't watching at the time, but he I was the X Division. Hold on. Well, anyways... <laughs> they both hated it. Abyss is one of those uh, heavyweights in the X Division Championship list. Oh. He made the list. He was a champ. He was the X Division champ at one point. It was crazy. How he was uh, like, what the hell? What were they thinking? But it was fun to see an X Division match go monsters ball. That they, was crazy. They both hated the title. Yeah. Overall considered, though, I will say this much. Uh, between Rick Swan and damn it, Evan Bourne, what's his name? Matt, Matt Seidel. Matt Seidel. They're gonna settle it in Mexico when they go south to the border. Let's see if you can handle this or open your third eye. I don't know what the fuck you did. Oh, uh, you know. They try to get. I want to talk about the X Division thing. That they try to get Scott Steiner X Division uh, championship, but he said he don't. He's that's not his thing. He don't like. He don't want to be an X Division champion. And the only thing I can mention besides that is Grado's ex girlfriend, and that video. <laughs> Access deny. What the. F- <laughs> <laughs> Access deny. Mention her brother. Who's brother? Uh, back in, in the Ruth's, Ruth's Aggression era, and that they, Kate, uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, Katie Lee. Uh huh. She had a brother named Paul Brookhill. 
why does that name ring a bell? Who started off, well, he was a nobody at first, but then he changed from to a pirate. <laughs> Where is he now? He's, he's, that gimmick. he's no longer, he's no longer in the WWE. I know, he's, I know he's not in WWE, but yeah. where is he now? Doing his uh, signing autographs and and doing uh, appearing in shows. Doing his own. And, thing. And he's doing training, this look. He's doing wrestling. this look when he's grabbing the rope, going, "Well, hmm. it was fun. <laughs> it was a fun gimmick, honestly." Oh, that can mention. Let's go ahead and because uh, I think we mentioned everything going on at Impact right now, right? Mm. I think we did. I think we did. I think we did. So let's mention everything else. Going into 205 Live, now since I'm caught up, things are getting heated between Alexand- uh, Cedric Alexander and Drew Gulag. But a match at... Uh, damn it, I get the names mixed up. Super Beatdown? Super Throwdown? Super Showdown. Showdown? Yeah, Super Showdown. See, see there's so many <laughs> ways to say it. But that's the actual name. Super Showdown is going to be Buddy Murphy, the juggernaut of 205 Live Cruiserweight, versus the champ, Ced- Alexander. Cedric Alexander. And I'll mention something about Cedric later with the May Young Tournament. You're going to be surprised. Did you watch it? Did no, you watch I don't it? Watch that. You, you don't watch it? Ooh, you're missing out, my friend. Because your girl was there, too. One of your girls. Which one? Ooh, I'll mention that in just a bit. I don't have no girls in the May Young Tournament. Yeah, you do. You do. You just yeah. well, I think. I think you do. I think. No. Quote me. Quote me. I think you do. We'll get to that in just a bit. That said, we also got... Uh, damn. Uh, damn. The guy who's going around wanting respect, but he's not getting it. He's actually picking fights with everybody. And we also got Mo- Mustafa Ali, who's actually pick- pretty much going good. I'm looking forward to those guys. I want to see wh- where their rivalry goes, because those two are really going to just duke it out. But when? It's next week? I don't know. I'll have to see, because it's going to be good. That we also have on NXT, let's mention this. The person who took out Alex Black. No one knows yet. But Choppa? The freaking bearded guy with a new theme music? He says he didn't do it. He wish he knew who did it so he can thank him and say, Oh, you beat me to it, but it, it wasn't him. Uh, one more thing. I want to talk about that uh, the 1,000 one, one episode of SmackDown. There's one... Legend who's waiting for his invite, <laughs> Batista. Ah, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. oh, crap! He quit on SmackDown, right? Mm-hmm. How do you do that? Uh, crap! And plus, he, when he came back, in a picture. When he came back, uh, what a white collar! Four years ago, when he came back, four in a wheelchair. Years, when he came back four years ago, wear shades. He and quit again because he didn't indoors. Like the way he was being treated. I don't like a little bitch. <laughs> Go ahead, do it. When he came back. Four years ago, he left again because he didn't like how he was being treated by Dada E. Yep. Let's hope D- SmackDown says otherwise. Land of no, opportunity. It's because of the money, and plus, he wasn't getting what he wanted. A world title shot. Yeah. I'll say this much, though. Ah, that's who's. Yeah, no, he wasn't in that match. He wasn't. A... I was about to say Leo Rush, but he didn't have a match last week. This week, surely. Otherwise, uh, I like saying otherwise, don't I? <laughs> I'm noticing that. Moving on, uh, the match that actually ended NXT ended with a women's match. Nikki Cross versus, I'm trying to remember that chick with the hair whip. But she's tall and she is saying that she's going to be the next number one contender for the NXT's women's champion. And she, talk, talk all she wants. She definitely has the resume and the skills to prove, back that up. But with Nikki Cross, it ended in a, uh, what do you call it? 
What happens when the match is called off? And no contest. No contest. Or right. one second. Okay. Hey, our other co-worker just left. And with that said, we also got only 10 minutes left for this. So let me go ahead and speed things up. With everything considered, this is getting interesting with what's going on with NXT. Because this is, everybody's wanting to pick a fight, including that big juggernaut man. Woo! What's his name? What's his name? Oh. Oh, damn. Me and my names. I'm still getting used to all these names. <laughs> Including Gunner. Gunner's in, in, in the Forgotten Sons three man uh, group. You might, hey, look that up. The for, WWE, NXT, whatever, Forgotten Sons, and look who. You might recognize somebody. I, I, know, I don't. I, I know Gunner. I know him. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, the Gunner. Look, 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 look. That's the first I know. But uh, you might recognize the other guys. If I knew from the fact they had to, I would have question. I probably know. Hey, but I will say this much. One of the two guys from uh, Heavy Machinery is going to fight the NXT champion. And this is going to be interesting. War Raiders, I'm looking forward to them taking on the Undisputed Era. Ah, that's going to one be One is married to, uh, is, well, I'm not sure they're married, but one of them is engaged. Is two, one of the members of what's that girl that has, uh, from the Riot Squad? The one with the black around here? What was her name? Logan? Yeah, Sarah Logan. Country girl! Actually, it's Swamp Back. She a Swamp Back. Get him! Gator! Gator! Gator Country! But that's gonna be fun though for see that match. Otherwise, now let's get on to the May Young Classic. Ooh, man. This is gonna, this is gonna surprise you. Many of people were there, including uh, Ronda Rousey, Natalia, Undisputed Era, Samoa Joe was there, Leo Rush, and Cedric Alexander because he was there for his wife who was participating. He was with their baby girl too, well, and she so is a fan of cosplay, my friend. So young, huh? Yeah, so young. So Cedric Alexander. Yeah. I just said, uh, Rick, Rick Swan, I'm like, oh. right. Nope. And he, she fought, and she has this, uh, Joker Batman, t uh, shaving in the back of her head from what Renee Young. Ooh, and I want to mention this. For the Evolution All Women's Pay Per View commentary, I want to see this. Because on the May Young commentary, we have two of my two picks. One being, Renee Young, the other being Beth Phoenix, and of course, Michael Cole is there. But replacing Michael Cole for the women's commentary for that whole night, I'm hoping, is Lita. But she's going to be in the match, so I don't know. They might put Michael Cole there uh, with them. Because he is a, a veteran. We all know that. He's a veteran in WWE. So but, I mean, of commentary. Uh, but the, the, I don't know if y'all noticed, but how Lita started in WWE. It wasn't with S.A. Rios. She started off as my godfather's hoes. <laughs> Go figure. Even back then, they were doing those montages. <laughs> Still missed those days. Yeah, but the Lucha beat Cedric Alexander's wife, so she was kicked out in the first round. And uh, I don't know that. We also got a girl from, I, like I said, I'm bad with names, but these two, oh man, what the hell? What the? Oh, wait. No, that was last week. This week, we have a woman from the freaking Ultimate Ninja. American Ninja. Oh, yeah. She actually beat a freaking tall-ass woman. Mm. I think she was six feet as well. I was like, what the hell? This woman's so tall. This lady, who was actually in the uh, Ninja Challenge, was in the same size as AJ Lee. Height and bulk. Literally, thin. She's tiny. And Renee Young was telling her that the po her opponent, her size, matched up to her, one of her legs. That's how big she was. And she actually got the drop on her. She beat that tower house, powerhouse woman. And if you're thinking, nah, she can't be that big like the other woman I mentioned. Mm -hmm. Nope. She picked that girl up and put her on her shoulder congratulate her. She was mad that she lost, but she gave her the respect and she put her on her shoulder. That's how big she was. I've seen, I've seen China do that. 
No, uh, yeah, I think she was the biggest China. Yeah, it's, I yeah. think she was. Yeah, no, China. That's a good example. Thank you. What do you take on that? Well, you know, I'm like asking China to do that with women and men. Yeah. Now, here's one thing. Another veteran, because this woman was going far in the last Mae Young's classic. And again, with names, she's a blonde-haired, tattoo, 13-wrestling-year veteran. And she went up with the queen of Impact. Let's see. Red hair. Got buried by Sue Young. Six-time knockouts champion. Uh, I forgot how you talking about she was She's like, a beauty. Oh, you talking about Madison Rain? Yep, she went by a different name, and she lost. Oh, I can't that. She took, she participated in the Mae Young Classic, but lost. So there's that, and so now we're getting real close to the second round, ladies and gentlemen. There's only a few more matches, but it's getting there. Now, Lucha Underground. Four minutes left. I, um, we're getting Phoenix is back. He's wearing all black, drooling out the mouth. And he's attacking his tag team partner. They went off against the Serpent Tribe with Sammy Callahan still having his hair. So definitely to anybody who's thinking, oh, they're matching up recording and they're just doing both of these at the same time. Nope, he's got his hair still. That means this is already pre-recorded and these are just being lined up accordingly. And this is just crazy, man. This is match was going so well for the Super Friends Versions of the Luchadors with Drago, Aerostar, and Phoenix. But since Phoenix was brought back from the spatial time, something's going on in his head. He attacked his girlfriend. I want to mention him. He's, uh, he's out of it. I want to mention uh, something before you, before you finish. What? I want to congratulate Ric Flair for getting married for the fifth time. Five time. Five time. Five time. Five time. Five time. Oh. I can see why they call you. Oh. I can see why they call you. Oh. I can see why they call oh. you the Nature Boy. Oh. Oh. I can see why they call you the Nature Boy and the dirtiest player in the game. Oh. Sorry, I went hang hang on there. I'm watching too much and, VR chat. <laughs> and I want and, and anyone know if anyone wants to know what CM Punk is is doing, <laughs> he's doing two things. <laughs> he's still doing MMA. Okay. And he's got another show that he's working with. I think I don't know who what, uh, Terry Crews called the uh, Ultimate. Beastmaster challenge. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. <sighs> but we got a new tag team of this freaking cop greased up, the homosexual Exolicious. When I told you about watch out, somebody's worse than Big E with the uh, the twerking. Oh, 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 oh. Exolicious, watch oh, out. Don't about watch Jordan. out. Don't forget about Atlanta Jordan. I think this is Atlanta. Atlanta. No, no, don't forget about it. He's also worse than Atlanta Jordan, too. He's worse than Vito. And you do not want to see. You know, you've seen what he's wearing. Like somewhat different. And they're teaming up with Mar not Maria's. Damn it. Who is uh, Melina? Melina's sister. Well, we, not her sister. It's her, I think it's her cousin. Oh, I th think you were saying it's her sister. I, I thought it was, but it's, it's not, I think it's part, they say The baddest cousin. bitch in the building, her as she says. So that's going to be interesting for them to go up against the reptile tribe. Now, since the super friends of Blucha are done. So, and uh, the one match in particular was crazy. One match. Oh. Your boy, uh, Johnny Mundo's boy, freaking Johnny Wrestling. Well, he's not Johnny Wrestling. He's Joey Mercury. Ended up getting sacrificed to the monster Matanza Cueto. The Jason Voorhees of Lucha Underground. That monster's a freak. <laughs> and it, they tore it up between Mil Muertes and uh, Hunter. Damn it, I forgot their names. But I'm going to say this. Those two are going to fight Pentagon Dark. I'm trying to hurry this up because we only got a few seconds. Say what you want. I, I saw on a comment when uh, 
that when that happened, I saw the video. He got sacrificed. Someone comment. Uh, wonder when we see an Eminem reunion. Right, we'll see. Otherwise, that's the end. That's it. Thirty minute mark. Let's end this video. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And of course, if you like the content, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can get the updated videos when I release them. And as always, you'll see me and this guy in the next Heavy Monsters podcast. Peace out, y'all. Bye.